What is going on guys? I'm back in the video and today I'm going to be going over how to cop supreme manually. It is a fresh start to the fall winter season 2020. Um, I had a pretty good um, fall winter last year. I was able to cop the supreme uh, bandana box logo hoodie um, and I copped a few of the items throughout the weeks uh, ahead of time. I was an absolute bust um, last season, the um, spring, summer 2020. But uh, off to a good start, I was able to cop three items. Um, let's see, I copped a Fatora tee, and I copped um, this hoodie right here, the Ice hoodie, Ice Arc hoodie. And I also copped a Stay Positive hoodie on a restock. Now, I'm just been going over how to cop manual. Um, I copped all this manual. I only manual whether it comes to sneakers and Supreme. I'm just haven't quite uh, devoted the time to learn how to use a bot and actually bot. Um, I like going manual because it's when you actually get an item, it's a lot more thrilling. Uh, knowing you beat out all the other box, but for reseller, obviously uh, getting a bot, you're gonna make a lot more money if you know how to use a bot properly and not getting banned and all that. Um, but week one is always the biggest drop of the season. They just drop a shit ton of items. Um, all these were new this season. A lot of them sold out, and a lot of good pieces for resale. Um, so yeah, so I'm going how to uh, cop supreme manual. It's a new season. People may be getting into it, so let's get into it. So to start off, there's uh, two seasons like I said before: the spring summer, which start around. Um, like end of February, I think beginning of March, and then it goes into uh, like the end of July, I believe, and then, or no, end of June, and then here we are, fall, winter, first week was August 19th. Now, and this will go either to the end of December or beginning of January, that's around the time. Um, and so in order to know what items are resellable, you can always go to Supreme Community, so let's get over there. So if any of you guys watched my uh, week one review and I uh, went over the entire drop list, I was doing it on Supreme Community. You kind of get an idea what items are going to be resellable based on the like versus dislike. Um, like these six items right here have a pretty good uh, resale price to them as of right now. Um, it's going to fluctuate throughout the season. Um, and a lot of these items had good resale. The hoodie, I picked up the hoodie because I figured it would be a good hold. Because not quite hoodie season, people are interested in the hoodies. I'm going to hold that hoodie until about November, December. And then the value should skyrocket on that. Because it would be hoodie season and people will be looking for hoodies. Now, yeah, you can just go through this. And as you go down the list, the items become less desirable. Um, so as you can expect, less resale. And once I'll get into the between like 50-50 range, um, I would stick away from resale. Um, like once you got into the like once you get into this range here, where it's the like to dislike, um, it's pretty close, um, pretty similar. Um, I would steer away from getting it from resale purposes and obviously the items that have a lot more dislikes and likes. Just completely stay away from them. Probably for personal reasons too because they're ugly as shit. And then you can also just stay away um, in terms of resale because not going to have any resale. So yeah, that's kind of how you can figure out if an item is going to resell pretty easily. You can also follow Drops by Jay on Instagram. Um, he releases all, um, all, like all the products drop in that week. He'll start releasing them like Monday or Tuesday before the drop. And every Supreme drop, unless it's on Thanksgiving or a holiday, will drop at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. Like, I remember last Thanksgiving, it was on a Friday because Thanksgiving was on a Thursday, so they pushed it back a day. Um, and then there's another holiday, this, or another day this past spring, summer season that it was on a Thursday, so they moved it to a Friday. Um, and maybe that's just a COVID release tea. Whatever, I'm not sure. Um, See, so yeah, it's always going to be 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, yeah, and occasionally they'll throw in like um, little orders. You always get a Supreme sticker, you always get the box logo sticker. And if it's a collab, you'll get another cool couple stickers with it as well. Uh, in this case, week one, you're gonna get a Supreme sticker, box logo, and you're gonna get rubberized gloves, um, which is pretty dope. The uh, Supreme branding on that, uh, and that's random. The stickers are um, always gonna be in the order. Um, the stickers are not worth any value. There's like because people get them with every single order, sometimes you get two or three with an order. Um, and especially if people get seven, eight items, they got seven, eight stickers. It's just like there's no value in them. You might build a bundle of 20 of them for 20 bucks. Uh, but other than that, really no true value there. So going back to Supreme, um, for copying manual, you want to make sure you refresh uh, right at 11 or if you're part of a disc group uh, or a discord group um, or a cook group, they'll have early links to some items. Um, you can click on those and access them that way, especially when it comes to restocks. Um, Supreme restocked a couple hours after the initial drop and they restocked some today as well um, So yeah that so always pay attention to restocks if you have a cook group. It's a lot easier if you don't um, You just got to hope you check supreme at the right time or get some other kind of notification where you can know when a restock is coming 
Now, Chrome autofill is like the most important part. Uh, it saves all your data. A lot of you guys probably know about that already. Um, it's pretty much being used now for any type of shopping. It helps uh, faster checkouts. Uh, you can save your address. You can save your name. Um, pretty much your card number as well. You just need to type in your uh, three-digit code on the back, the CVV code, I believe. Um, and that's all you need to do. And then you just need to wait for process, uh, processing payout. Now, you can double and triple cart uh, some items. But as manual, it's pretty risky because um, it's... You're wasting time adding items in. Well, you're not wasting time, but you're taking more time adding more items in your cart. And at that time, the item you already have in your cart may already be picked up by a bunch of botters, which would go instantly like that. So, um, for I would only recommend trying to double cart an item, triple carting, and, and quadruple carting uh, items can get very risky at times. Uh, for me, I like to do one item at a time. Like, I got my Fatora tea that I wanted, so I checked out and then I went back and I saw um, some items still had some resale value, so I scooped those up as well. Uh, one by one, of course. Um, I'm sure people can do it, double, triple cart, but it's safe for me. Uh, I want to make sure I secure an item, or if I'm going to item for resale, I want to make sure I can make a little bit of profit by taking the time out of my day by hitting the supreme drop. Now, some item or some items uh, might be canceled. Um, a lot of times for manual, that would not happen. But if you are botting, um, you make some cancellation emails. Uh, but I would not sell or list your item unless you get a confirmation email from supreme which will mostly happen throughout the day um, because i've gotten both of my um confirmation emails on when i secured them both uh, at the drop time um, but when i secured my tea on the restock uh, i've not got my email yet so i've not really secured that tea yet because some restocks may be one or two teas uh, and they could uh, and they could only uh, drop one at the time and me and someone else bought it at the same exact time you know mistakes happen they could think that both of us bought a tea and only one of us getting it so only confirm you have an item until you get that confirmation email and that is very important because you do not want to sell an item and then realize you don't end up having it. Um, that is not a good look for you and it's kind of a hassle to get out of, especially if they already pay you ahead of time. It's a big mess. So to only confirm you have your item unless you get the confirmation email. Now usually on Supreme Drop, I would recommend or I would think there's about three or four items a week to have resell. Uh, more times than not, a lot of items maybe lunch money or you make uh, no money at all, but they will sell out. Like, uh, I know a lot of these teas have sold out, but a lot of them aren't really doing that well in the resale market. Uh, maybe because there is so many teas dropping this week. Um, like I said, a drop this big is, is very unusual. Um, well, not for week one, but next week and you know, the week after, you'll start to see that the drops are like a lot smaller than they are now. Um, like my week one drop of this review was very quick, and it took me 25 minutes to record that. Um, and other ones, it's like 10 minutes max. So... You'll see smaller drops, so it'll be also be easier to target an item because there won't be so many items to go for. And you just got to make sure uh, you're on top of it. Um, right when it hits 11 o'clock, you want to make sure you're ready. Make sure your, your uh, Chrome auto fills in. Uh, no distractions. Uh, I would set up a couple minutes early. I'll get on the Supreme site two or three minutes early. Um, if you're botting, obviously there's some other setups, but this is mainly just for manual cop users uh, guide. And just one last tip for manual users. Um, small and large and extra large items um in that order sell the best in terms of resale um smalls go really really quick um i'll recommend targeting extra large or large to have more of a to have more of a guarantee that you're going to secure the item um if you're going for personal there's really not much you can do about it if you're a small then you got no other choice but to target a small for personal um but yeah i would go outside the number one um targeted size or colorway um, to make sure that you do have a higher chance of getting it, but you also want to make sure that you will it will have enough resale um, in order to be worth investing your money into it for the time being, and then selling it and going ahead and flipping it as well. Um, you just want to be careful of that. But if you can, um, I would go for the second most uh, wanted size or colorway or whatever, because the bot is going to set up for the most wanted product of the week. Same thing with the products. Um, like, I didn't target the cards, which I feel like I should have because I feel like the stock was very high on those. But I didn't target those because I knew Bard has been going crazy over those. They're the number one item of the week, as we can see uh, in Supreme Community. So I did not target those. But I targeted some other items, and I'm still going to be walking away with a good amount of resale profit for the day. Um, I usually don't pick up three items. It's usually one item or two items, maybe. Um, and a lot of times I missed out. Like, like last season, I was a complete brick. The season before that, I, uh, I, I did pretty well and it was my first time reselling Supreme. Now for selling the products you just got, um, I'd recommend selling them on either StockX for uh, for beginners uh, and then Grailed. Uh, Grailed's nice because you can build like a personal brand if that's what you're looking for. 
if you're looking to build your own website, I recommend doing so. And then, because uh, on the selling on Grail to eBay, because you're more in contact with them, so they can hit you up through Grail or eBay um, for maybe like a price negotiation, and then you can forward them to your um, website, and then they can buy from there. And then they'll um, remember your website for next time if they're looking for another item. Uh, I highly recommend doing that if you are looking to build a brand because um, it's more interactive with, with StockX. You just have a higher bid and the lowest ask. And then once they meet in the middle, you ship your item off. You have no idea where the product's going to. Um, and the StockX will take care of the product and then they'll ship it to the buyer. Uh, and then you move on from there. So you now actually come in contact with the buyer and the buyer now comes in contact with you, which is the most important part in order to build your brand. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. Um, I'll just be careful selling on eBay because there are a lot of scammers out there. Um, Grail's a little better. Um, but yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave a like and subscribe for uh, further content on Sinker Reselling and uh, Supreme and other clothing. I'll see you guys in the next one.